come out one. What we understand is uh, is not functional anymore, and 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 uh, we know that the health, uh, the staff, well, they want to continue like a primary healthcare center, which of course is very sad. Uh, most patients, uh, what we understand that all patients were were actually either evacuated to uh, um, Al Ahly and to Shifa or to home where there were, for example, 12 infants of the two neonates, two neonates, we understand, where went back to their families and, and with, a, with a description how to take care of them. And um, the others went to those hospitals. We we will check on that as well and the mission tomorrow, you know, in Al Ahli and, and, and in Shiba to again check where they went, also a number of the staff left. But it's, of course, that we, as I said, we cannot afford to lose any hospitals. What we need to do, we, the health system, WHO to assist and, and with partners. Shifa Hospital, because that's just, the, the reality is there are still thousands of people in the north. There's all kinds of estimates between two and, and even 600,000 people. And there need to be a number of uh, uh, health facilities functional. And Al Shifa is, of course, should be the main one of the main ones. And, and currently minimum functional. So how can we get it back to at least a first level referral hospital and then maybe in the future even a second level, etc. Reviving Shiva is not just a health issue. There is an estimated 70,000 IDPs on the hospital grounds. And they said IDPs everywhere within the hospital, within the within the what is it, the, the courtyard of the hospital everywhere and of course if you want to make sure that the hospital functions again uh, there should be an, an um, there should be a shelter and uh, non-food items etc being provided to those um, uh, well to those idps and, and make sure that they have a place to go in the neighborhood where they can sit and be safe <laughs>